So here I am in Dr. Asad tutorials. I want to explain you a little bit of how do we determine to place two, three, or four implants. Let me show you. When we have a patient, this is a patient that already has placed three implants. We did a sinus lift. Do you see this bubble there? Okay, that's uh, bone grafting. We already have placed three implants there. And my patient is requesting, has a broken tooth here, this one has bone all the way to the below the fulcrum and he's requesting me how many implants shall I put obviously what happens is needs to be a money wise thing but yes also if you're gonna place an implant you don't want to have something that is gonna break or it's gonna fall down we want something that is gonna be for a long time term solution so let's take a look the first option that we can give the patient it's this we can obviously extract those teeth and yes, we can place two implants there. But always remember this, there used to be a story there. There used to be two bicuspids and two molars and all of them are broken because it's a patient that bites really strong. What makes you think that all that pressure is not gonna be over those implants because right now you're gonna have two implants and you're gonna have a bridge that is going to be anchored over those two implants. And it's going to work. Obviously, it's going to work. But there could be a big scenario there about a broken bridge also. Or implants having more stress than regular. So my recommendation, it could be or either three implants to make a tripod. But you need to mention the patient that here you can have food get, getting stuck below. Or you can go for uh, four implants here. He already knows how individual implants work. He can floss easily. And now what we can have, it's teeth individually set after those implants are healed. Those are the tutorials that I always tell my doctors that you should be aware. Obviously, if the patient tells us, well, money-wise, it's a little complicated right now to place four, well, then go for three. And if not, go for two. But you need to talk and discuss that with the patient. Because if not, it's going to be like, Doc, why do I have problems with my implants? It's because due to stress that they used to be there. Now, this is something that it's always to be talked previously. You don't explain that to the patient afterwards. It needs to be previously. You see, you discuss that with the patient, and that could be a good solution. And you're going to have a long time term solution there. And your patient's going to like you, and you're going to love implant dentistry. Dr. Asad, Sonny Cancun, here we are. Thank you.